Imagine standing aboard a colossal warship, gazing at a steel chain so thick it dwarfs the circumference of your arms. Each link is a hulking ring of metal, forged with such precision and care that it can bear the load of entire naval vessels under the harshest conditions. You can hear the ominous clang of the chain as it shifts under tension, testament to the forces it is designed to endure. The sight alone might make you wonder how these titans of steel are created, and what labyrinthine processes unfold behind the walls of a factory that has perfected anchor chain production since the late 1950s. This is your invitation to discover the intricate art and science of crafting warship-grade anchor chains at Qingdao Anchor Chain Co., a world-leading facility that has been supplying maritime industries and naval forces since 1958. Today, you will witness each step of the manufacturing sequence, from the moment raw steel arrives at the plant to the final finishing touches, culminating in anchor chains that can stabilize a warship against roaring storms at sea. When people think about maritime vessels, their attention might go first to the imposing hull, the advanced weaponry on a warship, or the towering superstructures of cargo and oil ships. Rarely do they dwell on the anchor chain, a silent, unsung hero that, despite its low profile, is central to a vessel's safety and security. Yet these chains must be crafted to astonishing standards. A single failure can lead to catastrophe, placing both crew and cargo in jeopardy. From a distance, they appear as simple loops of steel, but up close, their construction is a feat of metallurgical prowess and engineering perfection. The starting point lies far upstream of the factory floor, the raw material selection. Not all steel is created equal, and few steels can withstand the brutal mechanical stress that an anchor chain must endure, particularly for warships that may be subject to relentless ocean currents, unpredictable weather, and rapid deployment. The engineers at Qingdao Anchor Chain Co. demand hot rolled round steel of the highest grade, carefully inspected to ensure a specific balance of carbon, manganese, silicon, and other alloying elements. These additives impart the steel with enhanced tensile strength, impact resistance, and resistance to corrosion, all vital factors for anchor chains that will spend their entire service life submerged in salt water or exposed to marine air. When the shipments of steel arrive, often in long cylindrical rods, they undergo a battery of tests before being cleared for production. Inspectors take samples to measure chemical composition with spectrometers, scrutinize microstructures, and verify mechanical properties such as yield strength and elongation. The slightest deviation from specified parameters could mean the difference between a chain link that withstands decades of punishment and one that might develop microcracks under stress. Once the raw steel is approved, it moves to the forging area, a place that roars with the heat and noise of industrial might. Here, massive furnaces radiate orange-hot light, elevating the steel to temperatures exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius. This intense heat is what softens the steel enough to be shaped without fracturing. Long rods of steel are fed into the furnace, heated until they achieve a malleable consistency and then transferred to hydraulic presses or power hammers that exert thousands of tons of force. The forging process is not just about squashing metal into shape, it systematically refines the steel's internal grain structure, eliminating voids and distributing carbon and alloying elements more evenly. The result is a robust, homogeneous piece of metal that can be further worked into anchor chain links. Technicians monitor everything from the temperature uniformity to the forging pressure and the speed of deformation. Every step is orchestrated with near-scientific precision. If the steel cools too rapidly or is pressed with insufficient force at the wrong temperature, it can develop internal stress points that may remain invisible to the naked eye, yet compromise the chain's integrity later on. After forging transforms the steel rods into elongated, thick bars of consistent cross-section. These intermediate pieces are cut and bent into link shapes. Imagine a series of giant metal loops, each one carefully sized according to the chain's intended diameter and load rating. For warships that demand extra security, some anchor chain links can exceed well over 100 millimeters in diameter. The forging lines are equipped with sophisticated measurement systems, often utilizing lasers or high-precision calipers to confirm that each piece meets strict dimensional tolerances. A difference of even a couple of millimeters in thickness or diameter can result in stress concentrations that put the entire chain at risk. 
so maintaining uniformity across every link is paramount. The technicians oversee these measurements incessantly, discarding or reworking any link that does not align with the required specifications. Then comes a transition to one of the most fascinating and critical steps, flash welding. While some might recall traditional welding methods that involve filler metal and an arc welder's bright sparks, flash welding is an advanced process that harnesses electrical resistance. Each link is formed so that its ends do not fully connect. Instead, there is a gap that must be welded shut to complete the loop. In the flash welding station, the link is clamped into position and a high amperage electrical current is applied across the gap. As the ends move closer, a spectacular display of sparks erupts, caused by the intense heating of the metal surfaces. The surfaces reach a semi-molten state, and at the critical moment, the link is rapidly pressed together, fusing the ends without the need for added filler. This produces a weld that is often as strong as, or even stronger than, the base metal. For anchor chains, such robust consistency is absolutely essential because the welded joint must not become a weak link. Any imperfection here is unacceptable. The technicians who operate the flash welding machinery often have years of specialized training, ensuring that everything from alignment to current intensity and weld duration is precisely controlled. Automated systems log data from every weld, creating a record that can be inspected and traced back if any issues ever arise. With forging and welding completed, each link might look like a finished product to the casual eye, but in fact, the journey has only reached its midpoint. The newly formed chain now heads to heat treatment, a stage that further refines the metal's microstructure and drastically influences its final properties. The facility at Qingdao Anchor Chain Co. houses massive continuous furnaces, sometimes exceeding 20 meters in length, where the chain is slowly conveyed through different temperature zones. Typically, the steel is heated to a range of 900 to 950 degrees Celsius, which transforms its internal crystalline structure, making it more receptive to subsequent transformations. After soaking at this temperature for a carefully determined time, the chain is quenched, often in water or oil baths, plunging its temperature so quickly that the steel's microstructure is frozen into a hardened state. Without quenching, the steel would not reach the necessary hardness or tensile strength. However, if it remains in that hardened state, it would become too brittle for high-load maritime applications. A second phase, known as tempering, reheats the steel at a lower temperature, thereby relieving internal stresses and restoring a degree of flexibility without sacrificing too much strength. Achieving the perfect balance between hardness and toughness is an art as well as a science because warship anchor chains must endure repetitive stress cycles in some of the most demanding environments on Earth. Now that the chain's forging, welding, and heat treatment are complete, the next major stage involves a formidable quality control regimen. When you're dealing with anchor chains for warships, no corner can be cut. Even the slightest flaw could compromise the safety of the entire vessel. The first checkpoint is often magnetic particle inspection. Here, the chain is magnetized and iron oxide particles suspended in fluid are applied to its surface. If any surface cracks or seams are present, these particles cluster along them, making otherwise invisible defects glaringly apparent. Technicians will rotate links to ensure every possible angle is examined. Any indication of a flaw is cause for further investigation, or in some cases, immediate rejection of the link. The chain is only as strong as its weakest link, and if that link has a hidden fissure, the entire system is at risk. To delve deeper, the chain may undergo X-ray or ultrasonic testing. Unlike surface-focused techniques, these methods peer inside the metal, searching for internal voids, inclusions, or cracks that could have formed during forging or welding. X-ray testing can reveal subtle variations in density, while ultrasonic probes can bounce high-frequency sound waves through the steel, mapping its interior. In both methods, anomalies are flagged, analyzed, and if severe enough, that portion of the chain is disqualified or repaired if feasible. These tests might sound excessive, but in the context of warship anchor chains, they are a non-negotiable necessity. Safety and reliability are paramount, and the stakes are exceedingly high. If the chain successfully clears these non-destructive tests, it continues to mechanical testing. Large tensile testing machines grip a length of chain and pull it with enormous force measuring how much load it can sustain before it begins to yield or break. This helps verify that the chain meets or exceeds the specifications demanded by classification societies, which set rigorous global standards for marine hardware. There is also impact testing, 
which checks how well the steel can absorb sudden shocks without fracturing. Warships can be subject to abrupt forces, such as high winds, rough seas, or rapid anchor deployment, and the anchor chain must withstand these scenarios repeatedly. The facility might also conduct bend tests, fatigue tests, and hardness measurements, compiling a comprehensive profile of the chain's performance. Each set of results is meticulously recorded. Traceability is a point of pride at Qingdao Anchor Chain Co., allowing them to demonstrate compliance with regulatory bodies and to identify any potential issues in the future. When the chain has proven itself through forging, welding, heat treatment, and quality control, it proceeds to surface finishing. This stage, although it might seem cosmetic, is extremely important for corrosion resistance. No matter how strong the steel is, prolonged exposure to salt water can induce corrosion over time, weakening the metal if it's not properly protected. The chain is typically shot blasted, bombarded with steel beads that remove mill scale, impurities, and any lingering residues. This cleans the surface thoroughly, creating an ideal profile for coatings or other protective measures. Galvanization is a common protective process, especially for marine applications. In this procedure, the chain is dipped into a bath of molten zinc at temperatures of around 450 degrees Celsius. The zinc metallurgically bonds to the steel, forming a robust protective layer. This galvanized coating shields the steel from direct contact with corrosive seawater and marine organisms. Some chains also receive specialized paint systems on top of galvanization for an extra barrier. The bright, shiny finish often seen on brand new anchor chains is a hallmark of fresh galvanizing or other advanced coatings. These steps dramatically lengthen the chain's service life, ensuring that even after years in a hostile maritime environment, the chain retains its structural integrity. Yet even at this advanced stage, the anchor chain's journey isn't quite finished. There is often a final visual inspection and a last round of non-destructive tests. The zinc coating might be measured for thickness, ensuring it meets the required specifications. Links may be weighed at random intervals to confirm consistent manufacturing. Documentation is prepared, certifying that every link of the chain meets the standards established by maritime authorities and classification societies like ABS, Lloyd's Register, DNV, or others. These documents can include test results, dimensional verification, chemical analyses, and even photographic or radiographic evidence that the chain has passed all checks. Warship anchor chains in particular may be subject to additional scrutiny by naval authorities who might require on-site inspections or acceptance trials before giving final approval. Once cleared, the anchor chains can finally be shipped. Logistics specialists arrange to move these enormous chains, sometimes thousands of meters in length, from the factory to global destinations. Each link can weigh dozens, if not hundreds of kilograms. So specialized handling equipment is used to coil or stack the chain in a manner that prevents damage during transport. They might be loaded onto large trucks, rail cars, or even cargo vessels, depending on where they are headed. Warship anchor chains often go directly to naval dockyards or shipbuilders for final installation. When these chains arrive at their destination, whether it's a state-of-the-art naval shipyard constructing the latest generation of warships or an offshore platform that needs reliable anchoring, they are ready to be fitted into place. The steel links, forged and tested, become an integral part of a vessel's anchoring system. From that point forward, they endure the daily punishment of the sea. Over time, chains are inspected periodically, and if well-maintained, they can serve for many years, providing an indispensable safeguard whenever anchoring is required. Crew members tasked with dropping anchor can operate with confidence, knowing that each link in the chain has been subjected to some of the most stringent testing possible. Behind the scenes, the production facility never truly sleeps. Machines are recalibrated, new steel shipments arrive, and the cycle of forging, welding, and testing continues. Continuous improvement teams at Qingdao Anchor Chain Co. review data from the manufacturing process, seeking ways to optimize. Could quenching temperatures be refined? Might a new steel alloy provide better resistance to corrosive brine? Could an advanced sensor detect microscopic flaws even more effectively? These and many more questions are part of ongoing research and development efforts, ensuring that each new generation of anchor chains is stronger, more resilient, and longer lasting than the last. This relentless pursuit of perfection has sustained Qingdao Anchor Chain Co.'s reputation and influence in the maritime world for decades. Perhaps the most astounding aspect of the entire process is the sheer complexity 
hidden within what appears to be a simple loop of metal. Each link is a testimonial to human ingenuity. It involves specialized metallurgy, carefully choreographed mechanical processes, repeated rounds of quality control, and heavy doses of engineering insight. The final result is something that can literally anchor an entire warship. Reflecting on this should instill a sense of awe. Warships embody some of the most advanced machinery in existence, bristling with technology, propelled by powerful engines, and equipped with sophisticated defense systems. Yet none of that matters if the ship cannot hold its position when needed. Anchors and their chains give these mighty vessels the capacity to remain steadfast in turbulent seas and harbors, enabling repairs, restocking, or strategic maneuvers. Without robust chains, the anchor is just a hunk of metal that can drift away. Throughout this journey, we have seen that everything from steel making to the final galvanizing bath is planned with care and foresight. The individuals who work in the foundry, the forging lines, and the testing labs represent many disciplines. Metallurgists, mechanical engineers, welders, inspectors, logistics experts. All collaborating with a single goal. To produce the strongest, most dependable anchor chains possible. Their collective efforts do more than serve the shipping or naval industries. They contribute to global trade, national security, and the safety of thousands of seafaring souls. Even the old notion of a weak link in the chain shows up here as a reminder that no compromise is acceptable when human lives and precious cargo are at stake. Now you've explored the full story from the moment carefully selected steel rods arrive at Qingdao Anchor Chain Co to the final packing and certification of completed warship anchor chains. Every step is essential, each part building upon the previous, culminating in a product that is as critical to maritime operations as the vessel's engines or navigation systems. So the next time you see an anchor chain dangling off the side of a massive ship, perhaps glistening in the sunlight with a fresh coat of zinc, remember the complex dance of fire, steel, machinery, and human expertise that brought it into existence.